Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain about large sample tests. In this one, test of significance for single mean. I am going to explain test of significance for single mean. Large sample test. When will you apply large sample test? I will tell you first. If the sample size is greater than 30, then the sample is called large sample. If the sample size is more than 30, then only we say that it is a large sample. Now, test of significance for single mean. I am going to explain test of significance for single mean. Now, here the formula first I will explain how to apply what uh, what is a null hypothesis what is alternative hypothesis what is the test statistic means formula and uh, what is the steps involved in this one i will tell you followed by i will explain the problem now test of significance for single mean test of significance for single mean if we have a mean x bar if we have a mean x bar of a random sample of size n taken from a normal population with mean mu naught and variance sigma square then that means if the in the given problem x bar mean x bar of a random sample size uh, sample size n uh, uh, taken from a normal population and mean mu naught and variance sigma square is given then how to set a null hypothesis first step we have to set a null hypothesis null hypothesis h naught mu is equal to mu naught is the null hypothesis alternative is alternative hypothesis h1 h1 is mu is not equal to mu naught mu is not equal to mu naught is alternative hypothesis if mu is equal to mu is not equal to mu naught then it is called two tailed test alternative hypothesis h1 mu1 greater than mu naught means it is right tailed test Alternative hypothesis H1, mu is less than mu naught, then it is called left tailed test. Like this, we have to define null hypothesis as well as alternative hypothesis. In alternative hypothesis, we can define a three, three tests. If mu is not equal to mu naught, it is called a two tailed test. If mu is greater than mu naught, right tailed test. If mu less than mu naught, it is called left tail test the test statistic means formula what is the formula z is equal to x bar minus mu naught by sigma sigma means variance sigma square is sg variance is variance is sigma square and sd is sigma sd standard deviation is sigma variance is sigma square z is equal to x bar minus mu naught by sigma by under root of n if sigma is unknown, sigma means variance, uh, uh, sigma means SD. If sigma is unknown, it can be replaced with sample variance S. If you don't know sigma value, we can replace with S. Then the formula will become Z is equal to X bar minus mu naught, X bar minus mu naught by S by under root of, under root of N. The next step is find the table value of Z. Table value we need to calculate. After that calculated value, uh, conclusion we have to write. Calculated value, table value we have to compare. The, from that uh, you can write the conclusion. Like this you have to do. The first problem we will see. First problem here in test of significance for single mean. If single mean is given, how to do the problem? Problem first, I will read the problem. You just listen carefully. A sample of 400 boys is found to have a mean height of 67.47. A sample of 400 boys is found to have a mean height of 67.47. Full stop. Uh, can it reasonably be regarded as a sample from a large population with mean height 67.39 and standard deviation 1.30 and test at 5% of level of significance. In the every problem, they will give you the level of significance either 5% or 1%. If they did not specify anything, you have to take default 5%. If they specify anything, you have to take that one. Otherwise, by default 5% you have to take. Now given that what is given? N is equal to uh, sample size is equal to 400 small n. Sample size is equal to 400 is given. 
sample mean x bar is equal to 67.47 sample mean x bar is also given sample mean x bar is also given mu not population mean mu not population population mean mu not is equal to 67.39 population mean is given 67.39 population sd is equal to standard deviation sigma is equal to 1.30 sd means standard deviation sigma is equal to 1.30 now we will uh, set null hypothesis let i am setting null hypothesis h not mu is is equal to mu not uh, in that formula only just i told you null hypothesis mu is equal to mu not alternative hypothesis either like this or like this like this any of these three you have to set alternative hypothesis this is formula now null hypothesis mu is equal to mu not what is mu not mu not is 67.39 alternative hypothesis h1 mu is not equal to mu not because mu is not equal to uh, this mu is 67.47 is not equal to 67.39 that means uh, mu is not equal to mu not 67.39 is not equal to mu not this is two tailed test h1 what is our mean 67.47 67.47 is not equal to 67.39 alternate hypothesis is h1 two tailed test now since population variance is known population variance sigma is known the sample is large sample since population variance is known that means sigma we know and uh, the sample size n is equal to large because it is 400 therefore the test static z is equal to x bar minus mu naught by sigma by under root of n x bar is 67.47 minus mu naught is 67.39 by sigma is 1.30 divided by under root of n under root of 400 if you simplify this one you will get 1.1.231 1 1.231 1 the table value the table value of z alpha z alpha means at 5 percent of level of significance 0 0.05 5 percent means what is 5 percent 5 percent means 0 0.05 uh, table value for two tailed test if you see the table for uh, two tailed test uh, at 0 0.05 5 percent level of significance is 1.96 table value in the last page of the textbook for two tailed test you will get 5 percent means 0 0.05 if you take check it out you will get 1.96 the calculated value is 1.231 we have got calculated value is this one uh, table value is this one which one is bigger now calculated value is uh, 1.231 is less than 1.231 is less than 1.96 because calculated value is uh, this one uh, table value is 1.96 less than therefore what is the meaning of that accept h0 whenever you get less than you accept h0 now accepting h0 means what we conclude that the given sample with mean height 67.47 can be regarded to have been taken from the population with the mean 67.39 and sd 1.30 at 5 percent of level of significance we are accepting that means whatever h naught is given that is correct we are accepting with the mean height of 67.39 and sd 1.30 like this you have to do the problem thank you